this band. What is going on with this band? What's up guys? I'm actually really excited to react to this video because guess what? We are back with Nightwish and specific Nightwish's new record. Today's song is going to be the third song in the row and you guys wanted me to react to this one. So here we are. This song is called Shoemaker and I was actually um, doing a little bit of research because you said I should do a little bit of research so I believe you guys and I found out something really cool because this song is actually about Eugene Shoemaker and Eugene Shoemaker was a geologist and founder of the modern planetary science. He studied craters on earth and moon and realized that they were created by asteroid impacts. Shoemaker was the geology principal investigator for Apollo missions and he also helped to train the Apollo astronauts that went to the moon. He himself was a candidate for the Apollo mission, but was disqualified after being diagnosed with Addison's disease. Um, later in life he said, not going to the moon and banging on it with my own hammer has been the biggest disappointment in life. That's really sad, especially if you really commit your whole life to it. Now, unfortunately he died in Australia in a car accident in the late 90s, but then I found something really interesting. Because in 1999, as a recognition for his scientific accomplishments, some of his ashes were carried to the moon by the Lunar Prospector Space Pro. His final resting place is close to the lunar south pole in the Shoemaker Crater, named after him. So that's really beautiful. And the Shoemaker's urn was inscribed with a quotation from Romeo and Juliet, reading, and I'm going to quote it, And when he shall die, take him and cut him out in little stars. And he will make the face of heaven so fine that all the world will be in love with night. And pay no worship to the garish sun. And he's, by the way, the only human not being buried on earth. So he's actually buried on the moon. So then it said after his death, he finally got to go where he always wanted to be. So that's amazing. That's really beautiful. Um, yeah, now I'm really excited to see what this song is about. It's all right, here we go, Night with Shoemaker, and yeah, it's the official lyric video. Here we go. Oh, I can't wait for Nightwish, let's see. Guys, I'm gonna be honest, I think one of those days, a Nightwish song is just gonna give me a heart attack, and that's it, or something is gonna explode. Or I'm just gonna react like this. Because seriously, guys, I don't even know what to say. I mean, <sighs> did you hear how they came in? Her voice, the instruments, the drums, drum, drum. and that was only 43 seconds. Unbelievable. Let's rewind it a bit. Who's that? Is this Troy? Probably right. On the stellar sea, but in little stars. We all make the two beauty, which is worth the hunting. We've come to join you. Uh. Oh, we've for a lifetime to be in the human spark. In love with the night. Guys are just insane.
that. Is there a moon inside? Oh no, what is happening? <laughs> and when he shall die, take him and cut him out in little stars. And he will make the face of heaven so fine that all the world will be in love with the night and pay no worship to the garish sun. This band. What is going on with this band? I'm telling you, one of those days. I mean, that's not normal anymore. How is this even possible? just too much. They're getting out of control. <laughs> it's just crazy. I'm gonna die. Seriously. Please guys, let me know. How are they able to create such songs? I mean, seriously guys, what was that? And then the ending. I really felt like I just died and I'm going to heaven. Like, I can't even imagine you know, their songs are so beautiful and so great that it's actually more that I'm sometimes capable of actually imagining or thinking about, you know what I mean? So I don't even know what's going on with Metal Mozart, but he is just not out of this world. I don't know where he's from or what's going on in his brain, but to be able to create, I don't even call it a song anymore, it's just an experience. Nightwish creates experiences. I think that's the best description. I mean, you don't even know what to say, if to cry, to laugh. You just are. You're just in the moment. They really capture you. It's unbelievable. And I thought, okay, by now I reacted to, I don't know, six, seven songs by Nightwish. Guys, it keeps getting better and better and better. They are evolving so crazy. Unbelievable. From an artistic standpoint, this is the highest you can actually create in their field. Again, guys, one of those days, uh, you guys are gonna see me, it's gonna be like this. Hey guys, I'm here with Nightwish Reaction, and then once I click the song, because if it keeps going better and better, it's definitely gonna happen, and then I'm just gonna be like this. Suck in time for like 10 minutes. Seriously. Maybe in the future, Nightwish songs are gonna have like a parental advisory sticker but not for the language or the content just because it's so dangerous people might get stuck in different dimensions you know and, uh, and, then, <laughs> and then you're gonna see all the different people or like this you never know you know they're gonna capture people in different moments so it's gonna be a funny one that's actually a cool idea to create memes like that 
Nightwish captured me again while cooking, while eating. <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you survived this one. That was a crazy one. Now I understand why you said I should definitely react to Shoemaker. I really need to get to know Thomas and talk to him. I just want to see what kind of person he is. What's up here in his head. Alright guys, take care, bye bye.